talking about the tricks of consciousness, because after studying consciousness for 20 years or so, the only conclusion I've come to is that I can't come to any conclusions regarding consciousness. Um, it is the ultimate magician. It's the ultimate con artist, the actor who portrays everything else except what it is. And that's why science is going to have a real difficult time with this. Uh, if you look at American psychology from about the 1920s until about the 1960s, you have this group of conscious beings called the behaviorists who believe that consciousness itself was an illusion. And we've made some progress, I guess you could say, because now we take consciousness seriously. But now we don't know where to draw the line. So we go back to, our, is a mouse conscious? Is an insect conscious? And now we've got to some ser serious conscious researchers who actually believe that maybe consciousness is fundamental. It's, it's everything has some aspect of consciousness to it. And you say, well, that's really weird because, you know, I mean, things matter doesn't seem to be very conscious. Well, if you're at all familiar with Freud and his image of the iceberg, he put consciousness as a very small part of the total picture, and the vast majority of who we are lie below, below the surface and in the unconscious. And so what if we flipped I mean, just as a possibility, what if we flipped his iceberg over? I mean, what if consciousness is playing this game where what we think of as the unconscious actually might be more true consciousness than we've given it credit for? And they say that's a weird thought, but think about all the other strange things. I mean, think about matter itself. We're told that matter is a solid thing, and yet it's 99.999% empty space. We're told that the only moment is the present one, the now. And yet we seem to live our lives in the past and the future, which we're told are illusions. And, and now we come to the ultimate con. Sometimes I'll be walking and just stop for a moment and just appreciate this mystery, this um, experience of what it's like to be a conscious being. And quite frankly, it just blows me away. But what we've taken is literally a miracle and we've turned it into a triviality. As Alan Watts put it, we've got these sensitive jewels of eyes. We've got these enchanted musical instruments of ears. And how is it that we don't believe that we're a god? I mean, how is it that we somehow came to trivialize consciousness? And all I'm suggesting is maybe that is the con. We've taken a miracle and we've turned it into something trivial. And the only one we're fooling, of course, is ourselves.